This is my Creality Ender 5 Plus and the stone is very, well it's going to be a long time print in a way it takes three days, over three days to print this out. This is going to be a stand for Black & Decker drill, a horizontal stand going on right. Well, I wanted to talk about the noise. Oh. A lot of the noise here is this fan here, this this hot end fan that blows across the hot end. Just let it come and reach a bit hard to reach here. I do have two blows, one on each side here, blowing down and they go around the channel around here, around this like duct in here to cool the path. So those are making a lot quite a bit of noise here. I might look at replacing those fans with some quieter ones. I wanted to talk about inside this Creality Ender 5 Plus. Originally it comes with a mean well. Well, it, this one still has the mean well power supply. But on that power supply, I think it's a server fan. For using in a server. And the noise level is quite loud. Let me move a bit closer. Some lights I have on my. I'll show you inside now. Now I have to be careful because it is printing. Okay, this is loose, this cover. I've got loose because I'm nearly always having to. Well, I'm always working on it one way or another. Hopefully I don't knock up this print, it's been going about an hour I think, let's have a look, three, three hours it says there. So there's two blows inside this box here, this has been, you know, well used this, and they blow out a slot on the front here, and then they blow into this like ducting here so the air's blown in there but I've also put these two fans on here which blow up now I can't remember which I think these ones are on temperature control so when it heats up they'll switch on and switch off whereas these ones down here are the blow ones are on all the time be very careful here and I have my hand resting on the switch there. But basically that's a box. Remove the server fan that went in here which is make would make all the noise and that works okay. I've used it quite a long time. I also added this light here which tells me when it switches on and off on the thermostatic control the fans. Well, the extra fans in a way. Oh, that might be showing up. It doesn't mean... I think this is a working off pulse width. It's a 12 volt LED unit that I bought. And I think it's sensing pulse width. So I think it must be pulse width, the fan thing. Because it comes on dim. See, that's pretty bright at the moment. Let's turn this. So I think the... the the fans, those two big fans, well bigger fans, 80 mil, are on at the moment, but this will switch off once it like cools down, which will take a few minutes actually. Have a look, I'll have to line this back up a bit to make sure the air is going in. Eventually this will go off, take my word for it, I'm not going to. But I'm not going to bother waiting for it to show you that. You'll just have to believe me. Which means that those two fans will go, uh, cool in the 
PSU down along with this two blow fans to make sure so all that has reduced that meanwhile well server fan but I would say be careful opening up your power supply unit the high voltage is about now I had to cut holes in the power supply unit I think somebody has done a pin somewhere where they printed out like the plate with holes cut almost in it.